Okay guys, Ryan again. Um, this might be the last one for just a little bit here until I come up with some more brainstorming. Uh, I'm gonna read this right off to you. The notes aren't gonna make that much sense to you until I actually explain them to you. Oh, it doesn't look like the whole thing uh, uh, shows up on here. So I think it got cut off. But uh, Facebook organically build growth hacking Facebook page. I built a new page. The title of it is uh, growth hacking 10, uh, 80, 20, 10 X. What that basically means is I go on and add tons of other pages that I like. I go on to all those pages, doesn't matter if it's Zig Ziglar, Tony Robbins, uh, internet sites, Frank Kern, all the, Dan Kennedy, I can go to any of those sites and start commenting on there with my page name. That's how I could organically build the likes, by doing that. Uh, the second thing, uh, add content to Facebook growth hacking page. I'm gonna fill up the page with YouTube videos I'm gonna fill up the page with uh, uh, content, blogs, anything to do with growth hacking, anything to do with 10X, anything to do with 80-20. Um, I'm gonna fill it up with anything that's relevant content just so when the people get to the page, they go, oh yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, it's relevant to me and I'm gonna like the page. So I want that page to be completely relevant. I don't want it to do anything with politics and all the crazy headlines that are out there in the news. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with YouTube videos, blog posts, images, stuff that has to do with growth hacking 10X and 8020. Totally about that. So I can add content all day long right now on that. Um, Facebook pay-per-click growth hacking page. That's when I would do pay-per-click advertising. Uh, I already have the name of my page. It already has a growth hacking 8020 10X headline. So then my job is to reverse engineer that and figure out the demographics. My job is to figure out, um, you know, from male to female to age groups to states to interests. I mean, interest is probably the best way to go. You just find people that like growth hacking, people that like 10X, people that like 8020, people that like personal development, all that kind of stuff. Those people are likely to like that page. So you just got to reverse engineer it to find out what converts the best and gets the most likes on that page. Because you're going to need a very focused page as the months and years go on. Um, I've run into those problems before. If the page isn't super focused, what ends up happening is you don't end up with like a nice conversion of like one in 20 on your posts. So then it doesn't go viral. So it's something you have to think about very long term. If you just trick a bunch of people, you're not trick isn't the right word, but if you just get a bunch of people to like your page real quick, then they're probably not gonna like a lot of your posts later on if they're not extremely precise and relevant. So that's something you gotta keep in mind as well. And then my headline got cut off, but the other one should have been add social uh, locker uh, plugin on WordPress. My blog, reno.com, is my WordPress blogin. I talked to my WordPress guy today that I know, and he has installed it before. It's been a really long time. I saw it today on a website. I thought it was just amazing. It's a great concept. Guy had, he's like, hey, you know, I did a year of research. I got all these top guys. They're gonna do headlines. I got 520 headlines here or something like that. They're amazing and they're gonna work great for me from all these multimillionaire guys. And you wanna see it, you just click on one of the, just unlock Twitter or Facebook and just click on it and share it, tweet it, whatever, and you'll get to see all the headlines. So it uh, works on Twitter, works on Facebook. I tried it out, I shared it. And it got other people to see it on Facebook and everything. And then uh, it ends up just like refreshing the page and then you just end up uh, seeing all the headlines that you're looking for. But they got the share out of me, which is great. It's like the way of paying for it is just sharing it on social media. That's a great viral way to grow your business. So imagine that you have 200 blog posts. Now imagine you're getting 200 hits a day, one for each blog post. And then imagine you're getting 35 shares a day by people clicking on that because they want to see more content. That's a lot of sharing every day. It compounds every day over time. You know, after there'd be a period where you're getting 37 shares a day and 40 shares a day and 50 shares a day. It's just a very good concept. You know, um, it gives people a far more incentive to share your stuff uh, when you're giving, and, and it really emphasizes your headlines and your copywriting a lot more too. And it forces you to get a lot better because it's just like getting somebody to click on a link. But in, if you're gonna go through the effort to get them to click on a link, you might as well just have them click a link to share. I mean, think of how much more powerful that is than just clicking a link. Um, so that's another thing to keep in mind. These are things that I'm all working on right now. Um, if it sounds like a lot, it doesn't need to get done in the next day. They're all long-term plays. 
doesn't cost a lot of money either. Most of this stuff doesn't cost a lot of money. It doesn't take up much time. The truth is most of this is all getting outsourced to people that are very efficient at what they do. I will not be working, I will be working with people overseas. Pakistan is a country that comes up. Um, I don't need to work with people that don't know how to do what they're doing and then train them in. That's not really good use of my time because a lot of those people just disappear from time to time. Um, I just use people that know what they're doing. I don't use them, I, I just utilize them on what they know, what they're good at. And then I just uh, hire them for what is very little, not a lot of money here necessarily, but in another country it's a lot of money, or they're so efficient in the U.S. at it that it's good money for them. So, and they get repeat business, and they know that too. It's, you know, it's like a cross-sell or an upsell to them. So it works out really well. So I'm just sharing all this with you guys because you guys can do all the same stuff I'm doing. Um, it's real simple to do. Go to Fiverr.com, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. Uh, typically, I help people on the bigger picture, though, when people, like, want to grow bigger and they just don't have to do one side thing here and one side thing here. They have a much bigger budget, and they have a much bigger plan and mission. Those are the people I work uh, with well, and I just want to let you guys... I just want to help you guys grow your business based on some of these growth hacking ideas, how to get 10x results or more. And